This course is for pure beginners who are just learning how to set up their first blog, but also for intermediate bloggers who just want to learn how to create content with AI. I'm Connor Martin and I'm a full-time blogger from Ireland. I wanted to create something completely free to help people get started blogging. I absolutely love new technology and new AI tools like ChatGPT just make it so easy to create content today. By the end of this course, you will have your own blog ready to create content with ChatGPT. I encourage you to check out the accompanying blog post in the resources section of this course and you can see step by step how to follow along with this course. So let's get AI blogging. The first thing that you should do when you start a website is to choose a niche. Okay, so a niche is a topic that you write about. You should choose one niche because search engines like Google, they prefer people to be experts on topics. Okay, you shouldn't just write about every topic um, that you can think of. It should be focused on one topic. Okay, so when choosing your niche, you should think about if you are passionate about the topic, okay? If you're passionate about the topic, then you will want to create more and more content and you won't get bored, okay? We are using AI to create content here, but you will also need to know some things about the topic, okay? And you also want to think about if the topic is trending upwards, okay? So we don't want to uh, talk about things that are not popular anymore because less people will be Googling that topic. So, for, for example, I am interested in language learning. So I started a, a website a few years ago. And this website has uh, had more than 5 million people over the last few years. And I could write about it forever because I'm really interested in learning languages. I've been interested in this topic for uh, since I was a teenager. So I just kept writing and writing and writing. And eventually you see a lot of success, okay? So here are some example niches for you and to help get you started. So for example, a type of food that you like, right? Um, so maybe you like Indian food, so you can write lots of things about Indian food, okay? Um, you can give the name of the, the blog, can be indianfood.com or something like that, or just food something with an adjective before. And then you can choose um, one subtopic and really go after that subtopic first. Okay, another example could be new software, right? People need a, a tutorial to understand how to use new software all the time, okay? Um, a sport that you play, if you're very interested in a sport, uh, you can teach people um, how they can play better. Uh, things that you use at home, right? Products maybe that you bought. And if you buy them, you can compare them to other products. You can leave a review of your product on your website and people will be interested in that. And probably one of the best topics is a hobby. So like the guitar, you know, people have to buy things for their hobby. Think about, you know, a guitar, you have to buy the guitar, you have to buy the strings, you know, you might need a teacher, stuff like that. So you can help people with all of that information. Same is true for golf. Hiking, you can imagine people need golf shoes, uh, hiking shoes, um, all of that um, type of content you can create uh, around that topic. All right, so if you want to see if your topic is trending upwards, then you can use Google Trends and find out some more information about how popular the topic is you're thinking of. So for example, here are two sports, rugby and tennis. So you can see that they're both not very popular, but they have some spikes, right? And you can compare. If you are interested in both tennis and rugby, from this graph, you can choose um, tennis to write your blog about. Let's look at some other terms, maybe. Um, we saw some hiking shoes. Um, let's say, okay, men's hiking shoe. And um, we can compare that to men's hiking shirt. So as you can see here, men's hiking shoe is much more popular than the shirt. So maybe you could write a lot about men's hiking shoes. Okay, it's growing in popularity over time. So that's something that could be a good idea to write a blog post about.
The next thing you'll want to do is to set up a website, okay? That's what we need to blog, right? So you will need a domain name and web hosting to get started, okay? The domain name is like the address of the website, okay? That's um, the URL that people type in to find your website. And hosting is where the website is stored. So that's where the server is where your website stays and people can access it. Okay, um, I use a company called A2 Hosting um, and it usually costs around um, $5 a month to get started and for the hosting and the domain name costs $10 and um, once a year, okay, per year. They're, they're the costs involved. Um, and I highly recommend that you use WordPress, um, but you don't, you, you don't need to go to wordpress.org to, to download WordPress. You need to do it through your hosting. Okay. So I'll show you how to do this now on A2 hosting. So this is A2 hosting. And the reason I choose this company is because uh, they're very fast, right? The website runs very quickly and they have excellent customer support and it's really not that expensive. So all of those reasons, um, I, I chose A2 hosting. Okay, if you click down here, you can see there are different packages. And um, you can just choose this one um, for the time being. The price might have changed a little bit, but um, you can definitely get it for very uh, cheap. So you just choose this shared hosting and it starts at $2.99 per month. So once you have your hosting bot, this should be what you see when you log in. So you want to come to here and go to domains and um, register a new domain. Okay. And you can type in your domain name here and try to buy it. Once you have bought the domain name, the next step will be to install WordPress. Okay, so you just need to click on the cPanel login here. And then you need to find the Softaculous Apps Installer and click on Blogs and click on Install. So you can click on Quick Install here and you choose the domain that you want to install WordPress. Once you have WordPress installed, you can click here to all installations and log in to your website here. Okay, so you are now logged into the back end of WordPress. So some things that you might want to do at the beginning are check the settings. Okay, one thing you need to do is check permalinks. And you need to change it to post name. Okay. Click post name here and click save. It's very important so that the structure of your UL, URL is correct. The next thing you need to do is to type in what your website is about. So change the site title. This is my blog, connormartin.com. And it's what it's about. So it's blogging about scaling with AI. Okay, so you can change all of these things to the correct and then again hit save changes. After that, you want to install your theme. So go to appearance and themes. Okay, I recommend the Astra theme. It's a simple theme and that's what we want at the beginning is just to get started quickly blogging. Okay, and um, so all you need to do to get Astra is type in Astra here and it should come up and you will just click and um, activate here. Now we need some pages for our website. So let's have a look at the pages that I have introduced to this website. So you will definitely need a privacy policy and um, you will need that when you want to install advertisements later. You'll need a home page and you'll need a blog. Okay, so create these pages just by clicking add new page. And just for now, you can just write blog and publish that page. Okay. When you have it published, you go here to the settings and reading. That's okay. I've already published this. Okay. And you need to change this from your latest post to a static page. Okay. And you choose your page, your homepage for your homepage and then post page. You want to choose blog so that all of your new posts will come up on this page. Okay, let's have a look at this website now so you can see this in action. I haven't done a lot of work on this website and um, because it's mainly for this course, but you can see now this is the home page, and then the blog page here is where all the blog posts will come up when I write them, okay?
In order to build this website, this header part, you just click here on customize and you want to go to the header builder. Okay. So you design the site the way that you want. You add a logo here. I use Canva to create this very simple logo and you want to have your menu here. So you can change the design here of how big um, you want all of this text and stuff. And then you can change your menu by clicking here. And then you can change what appears here in your primary menu here. And you can edit this menu and it goes to the back of the dashboard in WordPress. And you can change the pages that you want to appear up here. So I chose to put a course here. There's nothing there now, but I will in time create a page with a course. Let's talk now about keyword research. So keyword research is where you search for the topics that you need to write about, okay? And my, in my opinion, it's probably one of the most important parts of blogging because you need to find the right topics to write about so that you can get the traffic from Google, okay? It's just a waste of time if you pick the wrong topics, okay? Some people often pick topics that are too competitive, topics that other big websites have already written excellent articles about. Don't, don't write about that. That's a very, very common mistake in blogging. And the other extreme is where you write about topics that nobody is interested in. So we do keyword research for the reason to find this perfect zone where people are interested in the topic and there's not too many people already writing about this topic. Okay, so there are many, many ways that you can do keyword research. These are just two of my favorite um, at the moment. So the first one is Google Auto Suggest. So you basically just type the words into Google and wait for Google to show up what is the next word, okay? So you can use different little modifier words. So can you, and then wait for Google to type up the next word. So let's have a look at some examples now. So let's look for some topics now about rugby. I am interested in rugby at the moment, so I want to start a website about rugby. Okay, so we type in the main keyword here, rugby, and you can see some things that I've already searched for here. But look at these. Already people also ask, are rugby and football the same? Okay, is rugby American or British? These are all these are all good questions already. And um, but let's I did this a bit earlier and say, can, let's say, can you play rugby with braces? Okay, there's a good example of something. Can you head the ball in rugby? Here are questions that you can use. Can you wear gloves in rugby? Can I watch rugby live? Can you stiff arm in rugby? Okay, so these are all questions that people want to know the answers to. So you can answer all of these questions. Um, I would usually click into some of these and see if they are very competitive, if somebody's already answered them already. Um, so can you play rugby with braces? Um, this is a dentist's website, right? Um, okay, so we do have some. Um, okay, so we do have some c competition here. But down here we have Reddit. So this is just people's opinions and stuff. So if you are an expert on rugby, then you can uh, write about this topic. This up here is the search volume. I don't really pay attention to this. If it comes up in Google, then I know it's going to be a good topic. Okay, and another question you could do is rugby. Okay, um, is Ireland in rugby? Here we have uh, is boots rugby. Okay, it doesn't make a lot of sense, but... Um, you have to try to figure out what it is that people are asking. Let's say, do you need uh, rugby? So here we have lots of nice questions here. Do you need cleats for rugby? Okay, they're the type of boots, right, that the people call in America. That could be a really good question, right, um, that people ask because it's targeted at an American audience, right? They use this word cleats, um, but it has been answered here already, but maybe... Yeah, look, 
This is an excellent topic, right? Lots of people are asking this question. This is a really good question. People are asking. We know this because they're asking on Quora, which is a forum. And look at all these. These are amazing questions right here. So this is a good way to find topics that are underserved, that people haven't really given a full blog post. And we can use ChatGPT to answer these questions later. Another way to do keyword research is to use a tool. My favorite tool at the moment is called Keyword Chef. The best thing about Keyword Chef is that it gives you a full list of topics that you can write about related to your niche, and it gives you them in the order of competition. So it gives you the weakest competition at the top, and that is a great place to start with your blogging. Now we are inside the tool Keyword Chef, um, and something you can do is ask questions. So questions based around rugby. So we can press search topic here. Okay, so here is the list that Keyword Chef has given us. Some, some of the options of keywords that um, we can go after. If you want to click get keywords, that might cost you some money, but the good thing about it is that it will sort them in terms of the weak competition and search volume. So that is really priceless um, technology that you can use to help you. But if you just want to add these into Google and choose some of the topics that um, you, you think are interesting, right? So this is a really good tool to help you get started with your keywords. I recommend that you do at least 30 topics uh, to get your website started, but really you should be aiming for 100 blog posts. Okay, so let's get going creating some content. Okay, let's start creating AI content for our website. Okay, so here we are on ChatGPT. And um, so we'll take uh, a question here from Keyword Chef. And we will put it in to ChatGPT. Okay, but first of all, I would like to use my prompts. Uh, my prompts here you can find on connormartin.com. So you can copy this prompt. Okay, prompt is just something that you tell um, the website or the AI tool to use. Okay, so here we go. Um, here is our question. So first of all, I usually ask ChatGPT to ask for to write an outline because sometimes the article won't be that good unless it knows what it is supposed to write about. So um, let's have a look at what ChatGPT gives us. Okay, so we have the outline of the article that ChatGPT has given us. Now we want to use the outline and we want ChatGPT to write the article for us. Again, you can find this on connormartin.com. Okay, so we now have the article from ChatGPT. It actually wrote the whole thing, which is surprising. Usually it doesn't do that, but let's create, let's copy this post in to our WordPress blog. Okay, we copy and paste, and we can publish it on our blog. So we just go to our dashboard here. And we create a new post. So we add a new post. And we copy it in. Okay, and we need the title too. Often I will change, ask GTP to write me a good title. Because this one is a little bit boring, but that's okay. Now you need to make these into H2 headings, right? And Okay, that's all done. And now we need to read through the article. Um, it Unfortunately, the AI text can be very repetitive. So I've seen here, they've said this many, many times, this speed and agility. So yeah, I'd probably just delete this whole paragraph because it's repeating what it said above. 
and I would put some images so we can go to Canva. Okay, so we just click on photos and search for Ruby cleats. Okay, and we'll use an example that we like. Um, and we'll probably add some text here. Let's just add in this heading and type in rugby cleats. Okay, we need that to be a bit bigger. Delete this one. Um, and we put it here. Maybe that'll be better in black writing because of the background, I think. Or maybe it went. Now, to put this image on our website, we just click share and download. Okay, we have we have the image here. So we just need to add media, upload files, and drag this in here. And all we need to do is type in some keywords here, rugby cleats, and insert it into post. Okay, I'd probably make this a bit bigger, maybe large. I'll try that. Okay, now we have our post. You might just want to change the URL to the uh, keep only the keywords that you want, the most important keywords, rugby and soccer cleats. Okay, save that. And then we will also want to add a category for rugby cleats. Okay, just click here, add category, and then press publish. And there you go, you have your first blog post. One of the problems with ChatGPT is that it's always busy and at capacity. So I came up with a better and faster way to create content with AI. So here we just need to go to plugins. Well, I didn't come up with this. Somebody else created this uh, and we need to add new. So you just type in AI engine and this is the plugin that we will want. So we just click install now and activate. So one thing we will need um, to work this plugin is our API key. So you need to set up an account with uh, ChatGPT, OpenAI, which I assume you already have if you're using, if you are using ChatGPT. Okay, and we go to OpenAI, OpenAI and we go to this API here. Now we log in. Now that we are inside OpenAI, we just click here, personal, and we look at view API keys. Okay, so uh, you just want to click this, create new secret key. Okay, and copy this into the section there where it's necessary. Okay, and um, do not let people see this key, okay, because people can use it and you will be charged a very small amount for each um, use, but um, you don't want people to see this. So I'll just delete this. Once you have your API added, you just click here to post and you'll have this new section here called generate new. Okay, and this will allow us to use this technology to create our blog posts. So let's go back to our title and we add it here. Let's just add this, our rugby and soccer cleats the same. Okay, let's move me up here. Um, so you have a choice of sections that you can add. Let's, I, I usually try to add as many as possible and then we'll delete them afterwards. So this will kind of give you the headlines that you want. Okay, this looks okay here. Um, I'm happy enough with the headings, so we can go ahead and click two sections, two paragraphs per section, and let's generate the content and see what it gives us. So we have delivered the content now and let's create the post. So all you just need to say is edit the post here 
and we can do our own edits and again add our image if that's what we want to do change the permalink again to some to just the main keywords as you can see now we have our h2s in in place and we have a similar enough article but uh, a little bit more ready to publish i would say so there you have it, two ways to create content with AI that are both either free or very close to free. This uh, plugin is, you know, less than one cent per each article that you create here. All you need to do is press publish then and you have your article. So let's figure out how we can make money with these articles. So now we're at step five, which is making some money from your blog. Okay, there are three main ways to monetize a blog. Number one is advertisements. Okay, you know those ads that pop up when you visit a website. Number two is affiliate marketing. That's when you make a commission from referring somebody to somebody else's product. And number three is creating your own digital product. So let's look at advertisements. Advertisements are a great way to make passive income. Okay, every time somebody makes a visit to your website, you get paid a small amount. And when you get a lot of traffic, it really adds up. Okay, I use this company here called Ezoic, and they're really good. And they do place a lot of ads on your website. But you know, you can ramp up here like this uh, screenshot here and make some serious money. And this has been my main source of income now for a few years. So they also have different tools here to make your uh, website go faster. This is called Leap. And um, yeah, they have lots of things that they can do, like analytics. Our analytics are very good. So you can check in what, what blog content is, is performing well. And then you can make more of that content, right? The next one is affiliate marketing where you promote other products. Okay. Amazon.com is one of the biggest affiliate marketing um, networks, right? It's got its own platform called Amazon Associates. And for example, in our rugby um, example earlier, we could just um, find some cleats on Amazon.com and put them into our article okay and link them and then when somebody clicks on that link and goes to amazon and makes a purchase in the first 24 hours then we will earn a commission okay that's how affiliate marketing works and the last one is digital products right in this case you make the product so you could write, make a book or you can make a course right um about rugby you know, it could be a, a book about the right um, kit to wear when you play rugby, or it could be anything, anything that, you know, your your traffic is, is doing well and, you know, getting some traction, getting some visitors, and then you make a product around the, the post that is doing the best. So you make a complete guide course um, or you make a book and uh, maybe it needs to be more general than simply uh, what the blog post is about. So you have to think about something that your audience will really want and um, to buy from you and you can sell it. Uh, I currently use the platform Payhip and um, to sell my eBooks and courses. Okay, so you can find a link here on connormartin.com and all of the steps here that we've gone through um, in case you want a written version of this course. That's it for this course, and I hope that you're very successful with your AI blogging. If you, if you need any more help, consider um, sending me a message on my website, connormartin.com.